Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a script for the Roblox game Secure Stand. So before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like, comment and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's get straight into the video. So first of all, what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description, which will bring you to my website. From there, you want to go to the scripts page and you want to find the game that you're looking for. And then you want to click on the post and scroll down. Now, once you guys see the get script button, you want to click on it and follow all the steps and then you want to go ahead and come into roblox and execute now once you guys have done that this is what it will look like so we've got a few different tabs here so the credits and info it is developed by reaper and you can check out his website and his channel then we'll go into settings so you can change your theme and stuff like that let me just make that bigger um you can change your theme acrylic background if you want that transparency um, which isn't really needed. Then we've got a toggle bind, so which is L, which doesn't really seem to be that good, to be honest. All these keys I'm pressing uh, don't seem to be too good. Um, so we'll just change it to um, this here quote uh, key bind. And then we've got a config, which you can go ahead and make a config once you've changed up any of the settings here. So we come to player form we can hit uh refresh drop down and it will select the mobs that are close enough in your range and then you can auto farm the selected mob as you can see here it is farming that mob i'm not sure if there's a health bar for the mob or whatever um i don't really play this game to be honest so i don't really know um so we'll go ahead and farm the mob then we've got a closest mob which obviously is going to be this mob here because we're closest to it. Um, so that is the mob farm, which you can select a mob and actually select a close mob. Then we've got a auto farm dummy as well. So as you can see here, it will go ahead and farm the dummy, which is really, really nice. Uh, we have a player tab here as well, which you can farm players. And then you've got an equip and unequip uh, weapon. Uh, if you have any weapons, I don't think I do, so that won't really matter. And we can go ahead and auto farm a player that's in the game. Um, oh, there we go. We find one that's in the game, so we'll farm that player. And uh, that is the farm tab. So we've got item farm next, so we can store and equip items. Uh, we can auto farm Sukuna's finger, farm chest, farm barrel, and box. So if we do chest, as you can see, it will open all the different chests, um, but it does say I need a key. And um, we can farm barrels as well. So we'll go through the whole game and we'll farm the barrels. And we've got a box farm, which we'll go through and farm all the different boxes in the lobby or in the game. And then we can store and equip these items. Then we've got local player, which is your FOB, gravity, fly, walk speed, and your toggles. Um, we've got teleports, which you can teleport to all the different NPCs like so, uh, which is really nice. And then we've got locations as well that we can teleport to. And we've got ESP here, which we can toggle on for all the different players in the game, which gives us health, name tag, and the actual player ESP. Then we've got MISC, where you can server hop, and then we're back to settings. So now that you've went and changed any of your settings, um, you can create a config and that is basically everything in today's video if you guys did enjoy then please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye